Hey everyone, Cody here from EGW, and today we're going to talk about the differences between our heavy duty and our standard duty scope mounts. Um, this is a question that we get asked about quite a bit on the phone and via email. Uh, a lot of people write in or call in and they say, hey, what's HD mean? Uh, what are the differences between the different offerings of scope rails that you guys have? And um, I, under I agree, it, it can be confusing. We do have a lot of different options, uh, especially for common actions. So today we're going to discuss the main differences. Uh, there are four main differences between the HD and standard and steel scope rails that we produce. The first difference that we're going to talk about is the material that the rails are made out of. Um, we use three different types of materials. Uh, our standard duty scope rail is made out of 6061 T6 aluminum. It's aircraft grade aluminum and we machine it out of a piece of extrusion. Um, our heavy duty rail is machined from 7075 T6 aluminum and this is machined out of a solid piece of billet. The 7075 is 84% stronger uh, tensile strength and it also is about 70% stronger as in terms of strength to weight ratio. So you're getting something that doesn't weigh much more than the 6061, um, but is much stronger. So there's a uh, long action calibers. It works really well for those handles. The Magnum recoils a little bit better. We also manufacture the same type of footprint as the heavy duty rail, but out of 4140 tool steel. So this is what our, what we call our steel rail. Um, again, this is the, the strongest and hardest material that we use. The next main difference between the rails are the, the types of the cross slots that we use. The standard duty rail has what I like to call dog ears that run down the outside edges of the rail. You can see there's a sight channel that's machined down the middle. In most applications with guns with iron sights, you can still see the iron sights um, if you would pull the optic off which is pretty cool. So lever actions and things like that, you can kind of use them for multiple purposes. The heavy duty rail has the more standard mill spec type AR looking solid cross slot. So this is what you would see on a lot of your higher end rifles, your, your ARs. These accept really any type of ring system. You can use quick disconnects on these. Um, they're just really versatile. And of course, the steel rail being kind of a mimic of the HD, just different material. This also has the solid cross slots, the AR looking style of, of uh, slots. Another question that we get asked about and one of the other differences between these rails is the height of the rail. Um, some people think that MOA changes the height and it does to some extent, but it's very minimal. Um, the standard duty rails are the tallest out of the three and these uh, on average measure anywhere from 400 to 450 thousandths at the front and they vary at the back. Um, some actions require them to be a little taller just to keep the top of the rail parallel. The heavy duty rail is about 50 thousandths lower than the standard duties. So these on average measure about 350 thousandths thick at the front and again anywhere from 350 to around a half inch or so at the rear depending on the specific model that they're made for and the steel rail again is going to be the same heights as the heavy duty um, this is essentially a heavy duty rail just machined out of tool steel so same 350 thousandths at the front and 350 to around a half inch or so at the rear the last difference between these rails is the type of anodizing that we use or the coating the standard duty rail, we use just a regular old type one uh, black anodizing. The heavy duty rails kind of have the cool coating if you, if you must out of the three. Um, this is a type three hard coat anodizing. Um, it's extremely durable, it's extremely hard, it resists scratching very well. Um, so hunting applications, something that's gonna be dragged through the woods or the bush, um, this really holds up very well. Um, the steel rail has a parkerized finish on it, so we glass bead the rails to take some of the shine off and then we send them and get them parkerized. So it's kind of a unique coating for steel. Um, you do have to remember if this coating does get scratched through, the rail is made out of steel so it might rust. So you want to address the scratch and uh, try to cover it up. The aluminum rails will just oxidize so it's not as big of a deal. Um, you do want to touch it up if you happen to get a scratch. But again, the finishes are very durable, so that's pretty rare. But um, those are the main differences between the three. So we have the materials, 
the cross slots, the height of the rails, and the type of anodizing or coating that we use. Hopefully that answers everybody's questions. Um, if you do have any other questions, you could always email us at info at egwguns.com or call in and talk to any of our tech people on the phone and we can help you guys out. Thank you very much for watching.